Jericho. 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 Going for it? Huh? He's going? No. I don't. Look at these words. It's so good. Uh, how you say it again? Jericho. Jer oh, Jericho? Okay, uh, what brought you to support Occupy Wall Street? Um, I support Occupy Wall Street because of all the inequalities that there are. And I think it's important that as a society we have to step up and correct the mistakes that we've done and let certain people take over our society. What mistakes do you see that um, society has made that needs to be corrected? I think all types, just of submissive behavior, of letting politics rule over them, of just being inherently selfish. I think it's something that we have to battle with and struggle with throughout life. Okay. When did you first want to occupy? Um, probably earlier in the year. So like, uh, do you have any specific time earlier in the year? Sometime? Sometime, probably April, something like that. Okay, cool. How long have you been camped out in Trinity? Yeah. May I just got here today. Today? Yeah, from the Midwest. Okay. Oh, wow, from the Midwest? So, uh, how long are you going to stay here then? Or? I'm not sure. Yeah. So, you're spending, you're spending your night here then? Okay, cool. So, so um, you're from the Midwest. Um, do you have a job back there? Uh, yeah. Huh? I do. Okay. Did you like uh, put it on hold for this then? Huh? Yeah. Okay. Hold this. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Making the necessary sacrifices. Okay. So you don't care if they fire you? It's not that I don't care that if they fire me or not. It's just that the requirements and the demands behind life are so much more than just the job and so much more than that's all you live for is your occupation, no pun intended. As you live for a job, you don't do anything. You are born into working class and you die working class. You have no time to philosophize. You have no time to develop yourself as a human being, not as a machine. You have no time when you do only your job, and that's all you worry about. And you worry about an endless cycle that rotates around money. What will be an ideal like world for you? An ideal world for me? That's a difficult question. I would have to have a lot of different perspectives to it because I'm my ideal world isn't the ideal ideal world of all people, and. I wouldn't make a world that wouldn't accommodate to others as well. Let me tweet that bit. What do you think would be a more fair world for all people? Like, it's way too extensive of a question. That's like literally like a long dissertation. We're talking like societal goals, political goals, identity roles. Just. All right, cool. Um, last question. As you pretty much know, I'm willing to bet this Monday is the one year anniversary of Occupy. Are you planning anything for that day? I'm sorry? Are you planning anything for that day, the one year anniversary of Occupy? Is this going to be here still? I've, I will be here, but I have no idea. So you'll just be here then? Alright. Alright, thank you.